What's up, guys? This is Anthony from Hawkeye Rides. I'm here today at Furman Ford in Countryside. John McVeigh has given us the 2021 Ford Ranger XLT Super Crew. MSRP on this shadow black metallic is at $31,045. The model I'm bringing you today, $37,270. What's new for 2021? Well, you know what? You're looking at it. You got the black appearance package, which we'll go over. You got four new colors powered by your 2.3 liter EcoBoost turbocharged four cylinder, 270 horsepower, 310 pound feet of torque, a 10 speed automatic transmission, 21 to 26 MPGs. We're going to go over all the specs and details starting now. Best in class payload for a mid-size truck. That's what you're getting with the Ranger. I like the proportions of the hood. Really does kind of flare it out. And even the wheel wells flare out to give a width of 73.3 inches and a height of 71.5 inches. Ground clearance because this is the four x two, 8.4 inches. All wheel drive would be 8.9. They do offer a trimmer package which would up that to almost 10 inches at 9.7 inches. Because of the black appearance package, we have that updated grill that's all black in the mesh and also the oval badging for the Ford symbol. And I like how it says Ranger here because it's just giving some nice luxury aesthetics to the front. This one is set with your fog lamps, automatic headlamps, with 18 inch black painted alloy wheels with the black center caps. And this is again, part of that black appearance package, 12.3 vented brakes in the front, 12.1 in the rear. Gas pressurized shock absorbers, short and long arm for your front suspension. You're gonna get a leaf for the rear. The length, 210.8 inches with the wheelbase at 126.8 inches. We have the blind spot monitoring lane keep assist. I like the Ranger XLT badging here blacked out because of the aesthetic package which we have and the five foot rectangular running boards to make it easier to get inside this vehicle. The fenders flare out really good. And I also like the fact that the lip here is polished the same color as the exterior paint. LED taillights start on the side going into your rear with remote tailgate lock. That helps prevent people from stealing the tailgate. Apparently that's a thing nowadays. You'll have your trailer sway control, rear view camera. You got your parking sensors here. 7,500 pounds of towing is set with this. Pre-collision assist with automatic braking going inside to your cargo bed at 43.3 cubic feet, 60 inches long, 61.4 inches of width, 44.8 between the wheel housing. Fully box steel frame, side assistance, black aesthetics all over the window trim and on the door handles. The black appearance package I think is a really nice look for this 2021 Ford Ranger XLT. Let me know in the comments what you think as we go into the interior, go over the tech and take this for our test run. Entering inside this Ford Ranger XLT, you're gonna get 41 inches of headroom, 38.3 inches of legroom. The front is set with bucket seats. Because we have group 302A, we're gonna be getting eight-way power adjustments with lumbar support, manual recline for the driver. Six-way power adjustments with lumbar support, manual recline for the passenger. These are heated front seats. You have your dual climate control settings and you have your standard 8 inch LCD touchscreen with sync 3. For your navigation you have the pinch, you have the swipe, you have your FM, HD radio, Sirius XM. With Ford Pass Connect it's not only a 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, you can have up to 10 devices 50 feet away from the vehicle. I mean if you're taking this on construction site or any work site, even in a hotel, you can use your Ford Pass to do your Wi-Fi searches. App link with six speakers, two 12 volts, two USB ports. They have an option for a wireless phone charging. We don't have that in here. Two cup holders is efficient. You can fit 16.9 ounce water bottle, no problem. 
220 ounce would be the same. You could turn your auto start stop off, open up inside here, some more storage, leather wrapped steering wheel with the cross stitch multi-function. For the gauge cluster, you're gonna get an analog with your 4.2 productivity screen. You'll have some more storage here that you can put pins, cell phone, camera if you're a YouTuber. Door panel is efficient, it's durable material. Soft for the elbows, one touch up and down for just the driver. Storage inside it, you can easily fit, I would say, three to four 16.9 ounce water bottles as we go into the rear. For the back seat, headroom is more than the front at 43.1 inches. Legroom at 34.5 inches. You have storage only behind the passenger seat. Two USB ports, your 110 charging. Two cup holders, you could probably fit a 20 ounce. Soft textures for both elbows. On the door panel, you could fit probably two, maybe three 16.9 ounce water bottles. You can lift this rear bench up and you have so much more storage. Let's see how I look in the center. Sitting into the center, six foot three, no problems, headroom. Leg room, I'm kind of touching the back of the front seats, but these are cloth seats, so it's not really anything uncomfortable. And I have a little shelf here that I could put a small cell phone. And it's a nice feature that you can fit three adults inside this midsize pickup truck. Taking the 2.3 liter EcoBoost turbocharged four-cylinder Ranger out for our run. 270 horsepower, so torque-wise is good too, at 310 pound-feet of torque. Anytime you're in that vicinity, you really have enough power to pretty much do anything that you need. And it's just a nice feature that Ford gives you that much power out of a small turbocharged engine. It drives at a higher RPM, which is not a bad thing because you're not gonna have any turbo lag or anything like that. Gonna see how this 10 speed goes, give it a little throttle. Now it doesn't necessarily set you back and it doesn't, it feels a little heavy on the pedal, but again, this is a smaller engine and you're not really buying this particular vehicle for full blown performance. You're gonna be able to do some off-roading. You're gonna be able to do all the amenities that you need for either a family or even taking this on a work site. I mean, that's the good thing about this particular car because your price point isn't too over the top. You can easily use this and you wouldn't be necessarily upset if you did do any scratches, anything like that. Quietness in the cabin is really good. 40, 50 miles per hour, you hardly hear any wind noise. You don't really hear the engine. Giving it some throttle. Now you can hear that engine rev up. And it's just ready for performance. I like the fact that it does sit at a higher RPM because the turbo doesn't have to really spool up. It's already ready to go. So you do have a little bit of hesitation, but honestly speaking, you're gonna be about two to three RPM at all times. So the vehicle is already set and ready to go if you have to give it full throttle. Check the turn radius. I'm going into a pretty empty parking lot. So that way you can see we have a media. We're gonna do kind of a full stop here. Turning, you're gonna get probably into about three lanes. It is a longer vehicle, so you don't really expect to get into a tighter fit with that. I'm gonna take it back onto the interstate so we can hear the road noise in it as we progress to a higher speed. But if you are at a lower speed, like 40, 50 miles per hour, you hardly hear anything. The suspension will sway you around a little bit, but you're in a truck, so you're gonna expect that. If you go over imperfections in the road, you will feel some of the bumps. But for the most part, these 18 inch wheels absorb the majority of the imperfections. The visibility, very easy to see through everything. You do have the blind spot as well, so that also helps and makes it a little bit easier if you are a little nervous because it's your first time owning a mid-size pickup truck. If you were to use this on a daily basis, I could easily see you having absolutely no problem. The Ranger rides at more of a two to three RPM. When engaged or on cruise control, you're gonna be more like a 1.5. So it's good with gas consumption, and it also helps with spooling up that turbocharge. So you don't really have to worry about that. And just to show you, it's already ready to rock and roll. I mean, you're gonna hit five, six RPMs, no issue there. Going onto the highway so you can hear engine noise, road noise, super quiet. I mean, it's not as quiet, obviously, as 40 to 50 miles per hour, but for a truck, especially a mid-sized truck, you hear some wind noise more so on the top than in the wheel well. 
but it's pretty good. I mean, it, it would filter out really easy once you're using that six speaker audio sound system. We're gonna take this back to Furman Ford, go over the reverse camera and wrap this review up. Switching to reverse, you do have trajectory. You do have your sensors in the front and on the rear. I like to thank John McVeigh here at Furman Ford Countryside for giving us this 2021 Ford Ranger XLT for our car review. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Hawkeye community. If not, click that subscribe button. Check out the details, the merchandise, and everything we do here at Hawkeye Rides.